What's going down? Baseball Bands and Channel Thor starts the show. I'm back. It's the McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, The Dark Knight Trilogy. It's Heath Ledger's Joker. I'm um, not going to do the Why So Serious. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Mm. See if you can hold me to that by the end of this video. Um, I am in purple, just because. But we are doing the Joker. Uh, Heath Ledger's Joker from The Dark Knight. Um, Trilogy Wave, the Bane build a figure, the Dark Knight movie was the Joker was from. Uh, probably the best iteration of the Joker, in my opinion. Better than Jack Nicholson, better than uh, Cesar Romero. Better. There just hasn't been a better one yet. I want to see more. I've never seen the Joaquin Phoenix, the Joker movie, I'll be honest. I'm, blasphemy, I know. But it just, I don't know. It hit at a weird time for me, and I never saw it. And now I don't know that I have any intentions of seeing it. And I have no idea. And with the DC extent or the DCU or the DCEU or the DC Mo, me, whatever, whatever the James Gunn's doing going forward, I'm sure we're gonna get a new Joker. So I might just have to reserve. But for now, my favorite Batman iteration is still the Dark Knight trilogy. My favorite Joker is still Heath Ledger's uh, portrayal of the Prince uh, Clown, Prince Clown of Crime, Crime Prince of Clown, Crime. Clown of Prince, butcher that. But so we've already done Scarecrow, Two Face. Saw those. Um, the peg is fixed from the Bane arm. So you know we got the Bane torso with Two Face. We got the Bane arms with Scarecrow. There is a factory defect in the right arm uh, wrist peg. It has to be switched. So you just got to heat it up. Uh, I do put a. There's that video up on my YouTube channel. That video is part of the Scarecrow video review and uh it's on my instagram everywhere i posted it all over for everybody kind of a psa um if you will i was first made uh aware of it by another buddy who did it who did a uh um what do you do the he d boiled it in water and i just did the hair dryer technique to switch it but heath ledger's joker so you can already see i have a heath ledger's joker it's five inches or so i got it from my nephew um back when the movie first came out so this is a, like original. It's actually the plastic's white from uh, just kind of oxidization and, and sitting around and some of that. So um, now the Joker comes with probably the most accessories of any of the figures in this wave because he comes with three sets of hands for Bane, which I think is crazy. I mean, being that Bane's not a full size mega figure, I guess you had to do something. So they gave him three different sets of hands. Which, like, you have to have the correct hand peg then if you're going to be swapping hands out that much or else you are going to snap that peg. I will guarantee you. I was watching a dude um, review these on TikTok and he almost snapped the peg. I had to tell him. I was like, yo, dude, switch the peg. It's messed up. Fit. Don't break it. Uh, you get fists, you get open hands, and then you get, is that a gun hand? Ooh, is that a gun hand? I think that's a gun hand. I think you get gun hands. And then you get, obviously... You only adopted the darkness. I was born into it. That Bane head, I'm going to be honest, it's pretty on point. Um, that is pretty on point. I'm pretty happy with that Bane head. That's solid. The mask could have a little bit more detail to it. Maybe a little bit more, a couple more paint apps, but you can't be mad at that. That is, that's pretty crispy. Let's see if I can get the, let's see if I can just get the head on. I haven't heard anybody having problems with the head. It's a long peg. The head. Ah. Now, if you have any problems with any of your joints, I always recommend. Oh, this thing's kind of bending a little bit. Yeah. Heating them. Like, not that. Uh, like, you could heat the head up, and that'll make the head peg a little bit more, you know, forgiving. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bend that. So, we'll hold off. We'll hold off. We'll build the full bane in. So the last piece is obviously the Dark Knight himself, Christian Bale's Batman, my favorite Batman, um, and we'll build the Bane in that video. So fear not. You do get the head, and I said, like I said, the six hands, or the four pairs of hands. You also get with this Joker, which I think is pretty cool, you get a standee, which is the money standee. Um, it could be a bigger pile of money, yes. It could be on fire, yes. But that it's actually there kudos now do i wish there was a knife or some other accessory for joker himself i will say this has felt a little light on accessories scarecrow got zero 
Um, Harvey got also zero. Is that right? Weird. There's the card. Card's pretty dope. It's it is the Y, so you know what I'm not saying. Card. Uh, and then obviously you get your handy dandy McFarland standy. So there we go. Boom. Look at that. One closed fish. I wish he had an extra pair of hands. Um, like you gave him six hands for Bane. Oh, you know what? Scarecrow had another pair of hands. He has, a, but you get one gun hand for sure. You can hold a gun. Let's get my customary tester gun here. Uh, yep, boom. There you go. He looks pretty good. He looks menacing. The head sculpt is on point. Uh, the the head mobility is me. It's not super great. The coat and the overall garb look amazing. I like they got the actual pinstriping on the pants. The different t shades of gr uh, purple for the jacket and the pants. The different greens in his shirts and his vest. They even got the chain, uh, the gold chain hanging there for a watch. I th think. Now this Joker has gray shoes. This Joker has brown shoes. I'll be honest, I can't remember what color his shoes were in there. But if you look at these two Jokers, it's not really a comparison. I mean, there's not really much to compare here. You know, one is like a five-inch figure from maybe a decade ago when the movie came out. That's me. Eh, you know, I got from my nephew, and one is a seven-inch gorgeous McFarlane that uh, it's tight. He's tight everywhere. I will say he is tight. Um, double jointed though knees, double jointed elbows, awesome mobility. Everybody on the ground. I like that his hair is more of the muted green, uh, and not some of the cartoony greens that we've seen. They did do the same thing that they've done with all the three of these figures though so far. They've hid the ankle ball underneath the pant cuff, which makes it 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 makes it difficult then to not pose, but it makes it difficult to. Um, I don't know. It just makes it. It just makes it a little more difficult to move that ankle the way you want to, uh, when you have that ball hidden. I like when they do the molded ones better than they do the, the hidden ball with the shoe. But that looks. I mean, that looks pretty crispy. That's a pretty crispy look. And like I said, the, the Heath Ledger head sculpt is really good for a twenty-four, twenty-five dollar figure. I got to admit. I mean, that's that's pretty nice. Do I wish he had a card, like a playing card? Do I wish he had a knife? Yes. Do I wish he had just more accessories in general? Yes. But am I like, am I mad about this? No. Like, this is a great figure. I mean, I gave, I think I gave Scarecrow seven and a half. I gave, um, I gave Harvey here about an eight, eight and a half. He's a solid nine. He would be a 10 if he had the accessories and if, you know, a couple other things. I mean, the figure itself, though, if we're just talking about just the figure, it's a solid, it's a solid nine, nine and a half even, because it's just, the, the look is there, the, the portion, the proportions are right, um, just the whole styling of the figure is exactly what you would want from, from a Heath Ledger Joker, and that we're getting a Heath Ledger Joker this late in the game, that we even got this wave should just make people, I mean, elated. Like, honestly, you can't hate too much that we even got this wave is just a glorious thing. Like, it, it really is. I mean, especially for some of us who like the Dark Knight is your, that's your, that's your Batman jam. You know, that's my preferred movie. That's my preferred, you know, Joker, my preferred Batman. And I, I, I watched the, the new The Batman. It was, eh, it, I, I fell asleep. I didn't ever really made it through the whole movie. <laughs> so if you can't even keep my, for the, I, I didn't start falling asleep till the, for the Dark Knight until I saw it 15, 20, 30 times, you know? So there you go. Heath Ledger's the Joker. That's a solid figure. I mean, if you were going to, if you didn't want the Bane, you didn't want Two-Face Scarecrow, let's say you didn't even want the Bats, I, the Joker's worth just himself. Um, real name, unknown. The Joker of the Dark Knight Trilogy. God, this is a good-looking card, too. Uh, no name strikes terror in the hearts of Gotham City citizens quite like the Joker. In a city overrun with larger-than-life criminals, the always laughing villain stands alone. A complete psychopath with no moral compass whatsoever, the Joker, whose real name and identity, identity remain completely unknown, is characterized by his chalk white skin, green hair, and permanent rictus grin sketched across his face. But there isn't a single thing funny about this particular clown who finds humor in the suffering of others. Yeah, I mean, Heath Ledger's Joker was 
all time. I mean, it was. I mean, you say what you will, but that's all time performance. I mean, it broke the man. I mean, that's that, playing Joker does something to you. But this is a beautiful, beautiful representation of the, the the character, of the actor, of everything. I goodbye you forever. Um, fix the Bane stuff. We're building Bane. Batman's the last piece coming soon. You know, dude. You know, until next one. Deuces. We'll be right back.